As much as I enjoy watching others here on YouTube, I got to be here for me. I got to do it for me. I got to stay locked in for me. Do I want to be successful like they are? I'm not going to see say great like they are because I am great. <laughs> I think of myself as a great person, but I'm just saying like, do I want to be successful like they are? Yes, I do. With the coins, okay, where I'm able to do whatever I want to do. Wake up, mm, oh, I'm going to Starbucks. wake up, mm, or I'm about to cook some breakfast. I don't have to go to work. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not like the nine to five work. I got to continue to show up for me, for me, for me, because... I don't know what God has in store for me, but I know he got something great. I know he got something more than I could ever believe. I know there's something more to life than just what I'm living right now. And I want y'all to know that it's for you too. For you too. Mm -hmm. I just got done watching my girl Do Dash. And I don't watch like all of her videos uh, from since the nine to five video that like really started blowing her up and i'm just like she's speaking facts every video she's speaking facts okay and it's coming from god i already know i already know who it's coming from it's coming from god it's coming from her experiences and maybe when i tell you i have a lot of the same kind of experiences that she's been through how i've been the biggest person um the biggest and tallest person growing up as a kid being picked on um being um um being embarrassed being shy being uh uh um uh, didn't want to be in a spotlight all that mm -hmm. so many things um guys will say oh you're pretty you're pretty for a big girl but <laughs> if you lost some weight i might date you what like no 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 and i let all that stuff hurt me break me not really break me no i ain't gonna say that because i ain't broke baby i ain't broke i might bend it you know what i'm saying i might bend a little too far to the front a little far to the left a little far to the right a little far to the back but i never broke jesus has never broke me okay but all i'm saying i'm saying that to say this now that i am of the age that i am which is i'm 40 uh-huh i did a i did a video about i'm 40 and i feel like i'm stuck like i feel stuck i feel stuck and i really still do and this one comment out of all the positive comments that i got on this video this one comment stuck out and it's crazy because it's like is this person being negative i took it as the person's being negative i ain't responded back yet and i respond back to all the comments but i ain't responded back yet i wanted to delete it but i'm like mm, maybe i'll just let it sit there Mm -hmm. I wanted to like it, but then I'm like, mm, maybe I just, you know, I read every comment and I ain't even going to tell you what it says. Like if you go to that video, I feel I'm, I'm 40 and I feel stuck. Like I'm 40. I feel stuck is the title. If you go to that video right now, it has over 1500 views and I haven't seen that kind of growth in a while here on this channel, like for real. So and I'm just talking about real stuff. I'm just talking about real life stuff. Like, I think that's what I need to do. Just talk about real life stuff. Yes, I'm still talking about my fragrances and my combos, my body, um, <laughs> my fragrances and my body care. But I just need to be talking about real life stuff. Like, what's going on up in here? Um, the other day, for instance, I was um I was out and about and doing my thing, you know, and I ran into somebody. And I was like, hey, how you doing? And I could tell that something went wrong, wasn't right with the person because, and I talk to the person all the time and I don't know the person very well yet, but I talk to that person all the time every time I see him. And that person always has a smile, always, hey, how you doing? Doo -doo -doo. But this particular time that I actually came across that person, I knew something went right with him. So I knew something went right with him. So I was like, you know, what's going on? And he just started talking and talking and talking and talking and, and let me know what was going on. And and then I started talking to him, like encouraging him, like he dealing with somebody that really been done with dealing with him. And I told him, you need to cut that person off. 
cut that person out of your life. Dead that person. Like, not saying that you want to actually kill the person or have them dead. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, act like they don't, they don't even exist. Like, if you talking to them and um, they really, like, acting like you don't exist right, right on the phone. They act like you don't exist. But because you love them so much, because you care for them so much, you trying to hold on. That, I'm going to tell you right now, there ain't nothing to hold on to. It's nothing to hold on to. When a person don't want you, they will let you know. Their actions let you know they don't want you. So you need to dead them. Cut them off. Mm-hmm. Exit stage left. Er, goodbye. You don't need that dead weight on you. You are too much of an awesome, great person. Great personality. The person has a great personality. Like, what I have met so far with interacting with this person, I'm like, there's no way that people don't like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but then you never know what's going on with these people. Like, he's battling something on the inside. And he talked about it a little bit, and I'm not going to share everything. But I told him, he talked about, you know, depression. And I told him, I've dealt with depression too. And I had to get myself up out of it. When I lost everything two years ago, I lost everything, my place, everything. Listen, I was down. I was down. I was down in a hole, down in a dark place, down where it was only me and God. That was it, me and God. I cried almost every day on day of my life. Cried almost every day of my life. And I feel like I'm gonna cry now, but. <sighs> All I'm saying is, is that you need to. Cut the people out of your life. That is just carrying negative negativity, dead weight. That ain't, they're not trying to do nothing for you. But keep you in that hole. They don't really care about you. They just want whatever they can get from you. I've been that person. I had to put my foot down and I told him, you need to put your foot down. When that person calls you, when that person texts you, either you're going to block them. Don't even change your number. Either you're going to block them. Or you're just not going to answer any of their messages, any of their phone calls. And when you move to a different location, don't even let that person know where you live. No. For what? So they can come over and act like they so into you just so they can get something. They got their hand out. They know that you have a big heart and you did it before for them. So you're going to do it again. No. Please don't. Mm-mm. I'm trying to tell you, get up out of that. Get up out of it. I was in it. 2022 and in 2023. And when I tell you, I had to get myself up out of that. It wasn't nothing but me and God. And I just had to get myself up out of it. I was tired of crying every day. I was tired of going through stuff every day. Like, oh my gosh, I just cannot believe this. I cannot believe this in my life. That's how I felt. I cannot believe that this is my life. Like, but I can't be feeling down all the time. So when I did that video, you know, about me feeling stuck, I feel stuck because it, it just feels like, okay, I'm working. I'm working. I've been working since I was 16. I'm working, but it just, it's not enough money. There's not enough money in that particular job. And I am forever grateful for this job. I've been here for almost 18 years. That's not the thing. And everybody says, oh, well, this job's me. This job has great benefits. This job has, you know, so many great things. Okay, yeah. I'm not going to doubt any of that. But you don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've been through and what other people have been through. The people that I know, what they have been through. You can always say stuff when you're on the outside looking in. When you haven't experienced what I've experienced. But I feel stuck. I feel stuck. And I still feel stuck. That video I did October 6th. I don't even know what date I published it. What date did I publish it? I'd be like, Siri, what date did I publish this? <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to I'm about to not show y'all, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you the date. I actually I remember I actually put the date in um the video when I said I'm talking about it now. And then I published it. Oh, okay. And don't even want to be great. But anyway, 
I'm gonna put it in a card above, wherever it's gonna be on this side or that side. So if y'all wanna check it out, check it out. It's over 1500 views at this point. All of our small videos are not doing, they barely be doing 100 views. And back in the day when I was keeping up, being more consistent and all that great stuff, like over two years ago, about three years ago, when I was posting all these hauls and me buying every day on thing, I was really going broke buying stuff. Buying, 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 buying. But because I was doing those big old haul videos, I was getting thousands of views on my channel. There's got to be a better way. Like, for real, for real. Like, I love my fragrances. I love my perfumes. I love all of this stuff that I have. But it's only materialistic things. Like, I can get anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can get... I don't want to be always in a hole. You know what I'm saying? I need to get up, put this work in, put these videos out. Action speak louder than words. Action speak louder than words. Action speak louder than words. Be consistent. Be disciplined. Do what I need to do to get up out of the rut that I'm in. I'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I know you're tired of living paycheck to paycheck. If there's something that you want to do, you need to do it. Get up off that couch. Get up off out that bed. Get up off that floor. Get up out that chair. Go do what you need to do. If it's posting a video every day, post a video every day. I'm trying to tell you, you, you just have to do it. You just have to do it. And that's me. I just have to do it. Like, there's no way out of this. I have to do it. I want to reach who I can reach. If it's just one person on each video that said, thank you, sis, for helping me out. I needed this word. I needed this inspiration. I'm giving you a hug right now just for that. I'm giving you a hug and I'm squeezing you oh so tight. I'm here for you. I am. I am. And the one that's always here for you, because although I'm here, I can't always be here for you. Like, I can't be here for you 24-7 anytime that you need me. I mean, yeah, you can play one of my videos anytime that you want. You can play the same video over and over if you want to. I got plenty of videos, 700 and some videos out here. If that's what you want to do, that's okay. But the one person that we can always count on, the one, the one that we can always count on is God through Jesus Christ, okay? We can always count on him. No matter the day, nor the hour, nor the time, it don't matter. We call on him anytime. And I told this person that I was talking to yesterday. And we was getting thick into what was going on. When I told him to dead that person, when I told him to just get, like, cut the person out of your life, I told him, because he told me that he, he talks he talks to himself. And I said, I talk to myself, too. I talk to myself, too. Like, I don't even know why people say, oh, if you talk to yourself, you're crazy. What? Excuse me? Well, guess what? I'm crazy. I must be crazy then. Because I talk to myself all the time. And I talk to God all the time. He's here all the time. No matter the day, nor the hour, nor the anything. It don't matter. It don't matter. You call on him anytime. You talk to him just like you're talking to me. Just like you're talking to your best friend. Just like you're talking to your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother. You just talk to him just like we're talking right now. And eventually, we're going to be able to hear him. I'm just letting y'all know. That there ain't nothing, nothing. When I mean, I tell, when I tell you nothing that you can't do, that you can't do, that you can't do, God will help us. He will help us. He's always been here for us. We might think that, oh, you know, I don't, I been through this, I don't been through that. We all don't been through so much. I can't even tell you the, the half of the stuff that I've been through. From being a kid all the way up to being 40 years old. And this video can help anybody. I hope it does. I hope it reaches the person that it needs to reach. If it's just one person. I'm fine with that. My work is done. Just for this video. Not not forever, but just for this video, my work is done. 
I just turned off the, I turned on the camera and I've been talking for 15 minutes. I turned on this camera because I just needed to talk to you guys. Dodash, I think her real name is Latoya. She's in Texas, I believe. She is doing her thing out here on the YouTube world, land, whatever you want to call it, YouTube channel. And she be saying a lot of stuff that sticks and makes sense. This is YouTube. I'm that you. You're that you. We can talk about anything we want. As long as we're not, you know, crossing lines with the YouTube um, uh, policies and all of that. We can talk about whatever we want. We can show up however we want. I used to think the same way that she used to think. That I got to show up polished. I got to show up with my hair done. I got to show up. I ain't ever said with makeup on. I ain't ever said that because I'm not a makeup person at all. But if my hair wasn't done, I wouldn't put out videos. I would deliberately not put out videos because my hair wasn't done. My hair ain't done right now. I've been having it in a puff for I don't know how long, for weeks at this point. Since September 30th, when I, and before that, bef um, when I start putting out a video every day, a fragrance layering combo video every day since September 30th, and today is September the 19th. For 20 days, I've been looking just like this. I've been busy, booked and busy between my job, between what's going on after work. Me putting out my fragrance layer combo video every day, editing, all of that. But guess what? Regardless of what I'm looking like, I show up. That's the thing. You just got to keep showing up. God is always there. We don't know what he has in store for us if we just, if we just, there's no action. You got to start being consistent. You got to start being disciplined. Discipline over consistency first. Discipline no matter what you feel like. You got a headache. Oh, I ain't posting today. I don't feel like it. My period just came on today. I wiped early, early, early this morning. And I was like, oh my period. My period about to come on. I've been feeling it in my boobs. I really have. But a lot of times when I feel it in my boobs, I my period don't come on. I've been having an irregular period since 12. And I'm 40. I used to be on birth control for years until I was in my 30s. I am no longer on birth control because I'm like, why? If God wants me to have a period, then I'm going to have a period. And hopefully, down the road, it'll just come normally until it's time for me not to have a period no more. Until menopause kick in and all that great stuff. But that ain't what I'm here for. What what I'm saying is, I could have said, oh, I'm not doing my fragrance layer combo video of today. Because, oh, my period just came on. I don't feel like it. Huh? No. How, how are we going to get anywhere if we always have all these excuses? There's no room for excuses anymore. No more room for excuses. Okay? I need you to get up. I need you to work on whatever project that you have to work on. If it's just today, oh, I need to do laundry. Go get that laundry done. Oh, I need to clean up my room. Clean up your room. I need to clean the house. Clean the house. I need a meal prep. Meal prep. Do whatever you need to do. I need to film that video. Film it. Edit it. Schedule it. Put it out there. I need you to do it for yourself. It's all about self-care. It's all about self-care. I told that person that I was talking to yesterday, I told him, you have to take care of you first. You have to put you over everything. You over everything. Is that being selfish? No. And kind of, sort of it is. I'm going to say a little bit. But no, because if you can't be able, like if, if you're not able to do a do something because you know you're not feeling well um it could be anything 
You have to show up for yourself first before you're able to show up for anybody else. I used to put myself on the back burner all the time. All the time. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I'm worried about this person, that person, this person, that person. Oh, you need what? Oh, you need $20? Oh, you need $40? You need $5? You need... Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. Every time I get a sex message, um, can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? Can I borrow this? Can I borrow that? I didn't ever say no. Hardly ever, unless I really, really couldn't squeeze it out. Okay? I worried about everybody else. I showed up for everybody else but Sharon. No more. I put myself first now. I have to. In order to show up for anybody else, I have to show up for me first. I have to be good with me first before I can take care of you and you and you and you. Okay? But yeah, I just wanted to <laughs> talk to you guys today, especially after listening to my girl, Dodash. She don't know who I am. But I feel like we have so many similarities. And there's a lot of people out there that once they, once we start opening up to you guys about, you know, a few things that we've been through, because we're not going to tell you our whole life story. But we're so connected in those ways of sharing ourselves with you guys. And you sharing yourself with us through your comments. We're so connected. We're so alike. All of us have been through something that another person has been through. It's time to open up. Open up more than I could ever imagine. When I was younger, I didn't want to talk about, oh, I, I don't get a period. My period's irregular. Now, I don't care. It's like when you grow and you get older. Like my 20-year-old self will not be saying what my 40-year-old self is saying now. She would have never shared that, oh... I buy groceries sometimes by using Afterpay. That one comment that I made in my I'm 40, I feel stuck video helped out somebody. She reached out to me through a comment and said that she has her and her kids and it's expensive out here. And I'm just paraphrasing because that's not exactly what she said, but she didn't even know you could do have to pay for groceries and I do it for Walmart go online I'm not going in the store I don't even know if you can do it in the store I just know that I can do it online and you might can do it in the store I'm not sure but I do it online for either a pickup order or they come and deliver to me and I do have um, Walmart plus but you don't have to have Walmart plus to do um, an after pay but I help that one person and that's all that I ask, basically from God, is if I can help one person for that one video. And I helped her. And I hope she's done what she said she, what she, said she would do to help her and her family out. <sighs> I hope y'all had or is having an awesome Saturday today. If it's time for you to get on the tubes, the YouTube, please get on. Please share your story. Please talk about whatever you want to talk about. Do whatever you want to do. If you're talented in, a, in some area, you got a gift in the area, let us see it. We got to show up and show out. We can't be silent because silence is not going to get us blessings. If people don't even know us. I'm going to continue to show up and show out. As much as I can. On a daily basis. You're going to see something from me. Here on this channel. I want to be successful. I don't. I want to make so much money. And I know it's not always about money. But right here and now. It is. It is. I need to be able to afford a place of my own. Without robbing Peter to pay Paul. 
basically without choosing and picking, oh, what am I going to pay this week? I don't want the financial burdens no more. I'm working on my credit. I'm working on paying back all the debts that I owe. And I've been doing it consistently for the past two years at this point. I know there's more out of life than what I'm doing. I know God has a bigger plan for me. He has a bigger plan for you. We just have to put in the work. We have to put in the work and we have to have faith. Then he's going to make a way. Doesn't he always make a way? Aren't you awake? You're up. You're watching this video. He made a way for you to see today. For you to get through today. Whatever day it is. Today's Saturday, October 19th. 2024 and if you're watching this video God made a way for you thank him praise him because he didn't have to do it but he did because our work in this life is not over so the more he wakes us up every single day we got to be thankful we got to give him gratitude And we just need to do what we need to do to get up out of the holes that we're in, out of the mess that we're in, out of the poverty that we're in. Because best believe the people that are rich, 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 I mean, the people that have all the money in the world, they're doing it. They don't think twice. They have a schedule. They follow the schedule. They're disciplined. They're consistent. And then some of them are miserable. Some of them have all the money in the world, but they don't want, they're not happy. I don't want that to be me. We got to make sure we have God in our life too. We do. We do. He wants us and we, he wants us to have him in <laughs> our lives. It's just me and you, God. Okay. It's just me and you. All right, y'all. I love you guys. I love you guys. Give me a big hug. Mm, 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 and I'm squeezing so tight. I hope you have a beautiful, positive, productive day on purpose. Big hugs and love. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.